part two, this or that, let's do this. Okay, that is vitiligo. So vitiligo we call depigmented patches. That means no pigment. Vitiligo is an autoimmune attack against the pigment producing cells in your skin known as melanocytes. And what happens is they can't do their job because the immune system is attacking them so they can't make that cute little pigment and send it to the surface of the skin. So those areas of skin end up white or depigmented. So vitiligo, we have some great treatments nowadays. Some non-steroid creams like Opsolura cream you can put on twice a day. There's also the old topical steroids and calcineurin inhibitors that we use. Knuckles, tops of hands, lips. They don't really respond to treatment as well as hairy arms or hairy legs or a beard area that has hair follicles with more pigment producing cells near those hairs. So just be aware of that. Okay, that looks like Raynaud's disease. So Raynaud's disease is when it just kind of happens on its own. The blood vessels in the skin, specifically in the fingers and hands and maybe the feet and the toes, those blood vessels that serve that skin are very sensitive to constriction and dilation with temperature change. And so you may have a nice pink red hand and you reach into the freezer for that popsicle and it turns blue and then white and it comes back out and it's red and you say, what is going on with my hands? It is not dangerous. It's in a lot of people. But we usually ask a few more questions just to be sure it's not Raynaud's phenomenon associated with autoimmune conditions like lupus.